up? What's up? It's your girl Kateria, and today we're here at the Art Plug Five, Five with lovely Melanie. Hey, how you doing? How are you doing? You're looking amazing tonight. Thank you. I'm super excited to be here. It's a dope ass event. There's lots of artists out there, lots of creators, and it's just a cool vibe to bring Boston together, especially the underground and bring out that talent. Yes. So can you tell us a little bit about yourself today and what type of artistry are you in? Well, I'm a fashion model, so I'm signed with Maggie in Boston and Icon Ma Model Management in Toronto. And that's super exciting, so I get to do fashion shows, I get to do photo shoots. Um, I'm going to Milan now for Fashion Week in September, so I'm super excited about that. So how are you preparing for that, like, trip? Oh my god, that's like a whole different ball game. Going to Milan, like, everything has to be on point. Your face, your body, your diet, the water intake, how many times I go to the gym. Everything is literally being micromanaged to for me to be absolutely perfect to be on that runway. Wow. So this is a lot of dedication coming from you. Has it been hard? Has it been some moments when you slip up? And if you do, do you feel bad about it? Oh, my God, girl. <laughs> we need to know. All right. So I'm Dominican. So, you know, I love my arroz con pollo. Like, I love my rice and chicken, my beans my avocado, my bread, and it's like, I can't have that. I have to have like no carbs, no rice. Very like, uh, if I have rice, it's like a little cup, but it's a lot of vegetables. It's like a lot of like maybe baked chicken, a lot of broccoli, a lot of asparagus. But girl, it's a complete cultural shock right now. But I mean, if I want to be there, if I want to make work, if I want to get my picture with that Getty image, little hashtag on it, I got to do it. Yes, you got to do what it takes, right? Oh, absolutely. That's, that's the goal right now. You know, I'm hungry for it. I'm going to go for it. And that's the vibe, that's the energy that you have to ha have in order to be successful. Success is not going to come to you, am I right? Absolutely. Success is not given. It is earned. It's sweat, hard work, dedication. Every no that you get, especially in the modeling industry, there's a lot of no's. I've gone to a lot of castings. I've gone to a lot of agencies and all I got was no, no, no. Like, I'm 26. But... Yeah, when I was 26 years old, they're like, you are? I'm like, yeah, they're like, you don't look 26. And I was like, oh, thank you. But it's like, because I take care of myself. I make sure that I'm giving my body the vitamins and the water just to keep myself looking young. And then, you know, thank my mama. Yes, <laughs> with the jeans, the good jeans. I mean, obviously, you take care of yourself because this is what you love. So you're going to Milan. That's a lot of preparation. What are you expecting when you go out there? Like, first of all, let's all, I got a billion questions, but tell me the first, what are you expecting? Oh my god, I'm expecting it to be like a movie, like a movie scene. I'm expecting this to get off the airplane, come out of the airport, and I'm just like, oh my god, like it hit me. Like, you know, like when you take your first trip by yourself, like you're not with your parents, it's just you, and you're in another country, another state, and you gotta experience that. Just like the, I, I know like the air is gonna be different, just smelling it. I know the food's gonna be different, and I'm just excited for people to see me, to see me, Melanie, the model, Melanie, the brand, and bring Boston, bring Lawrence to the map like this is something totally new wow. see i love that because you know at the end of the day you're with boston you're still repping boston but you are going to go out to other cities other states other countries to expand that but to also bring back because i'm pretty sure you're much more valuable like at that level where you want to be than if you were just here not really going out and exploring and connecting and trying to be successful uh throughout other outlets not only just here, I guess, you know, but you're still revving it. So, so that's great. I mean, that's wonderful that you want to bring back your success and kind of make Boston, you know, bigger than, than it's trying to be because it's good. We need the people. We need people to be grinding out there and coming back and bringing that and saying, yes, came from Boston Foundation. But so, all right. Now, anything negative that comes from modeling your passion I know that it's oh my god I don't want to say anything negative but what's the negative what's the one thing um that? shit yeah so it's definitely your weight definitely your image is top priority um if your body's not toned that's a complete like it knocks you down it takes you off the platform because when there's you there's 7 10 15 other girls behind you that can take your spot that you're all going for the same position it's definitely who you've worked for and who has seen you. You don't want to be the model that has done everything for free. Because if, if, if you're for free, there's no exclusivity. There's no price tag. At the end of the day, we're chameleons. We're supposed to do a job. We're mannequins. 
So if you want to book something, let's say for Revlon, you can't have work. You couldn't have works for Maybelline because that that's competing um, markets. That's competing brands. So you can't. You have to pick one or the other. So it's really you have to learn what type of model you want to be and what industry you want to be and what market you want to be and what your body type and your look is for. So what's the industry that you really want to be in out of all of them? I am definitely runway. I, I live for runway. Um, I'm 5'10". Yeah. Stand up. Let's have a 360 because you got some lace ge gear here today. Yes. Hey, look at that. <laughs> You look amazing, and look at these long legs. Oh my gosh. Yes, I know you're killing the runway. So this is, yeah, I can see why you love the runway. What is something that you hate about the runway? I know I'm over here like trying to. The runway, um, I think one of the tough parts about runway is definitely when you're behind the scenes backstage and it's super chaotic and super disorganized, which tends to happen a lot because there's a lot of things that can happen. You know, some hairstyles can be laid. There could be some drops in models. And it's just getting in line in the appropriate arrangement that the designer has planned and then waiting for your moment to go out there. But I'm telling you right now, that adrenaline rush when you're like standing behind and you're the next model to go up and you have that production assistant with their mic and they're just like counting and they're waiting they're like shh. And then they're like, go. And you turn that corner and all the lights hit you, it's like. What is the face? Thing. Give us the face. It's like. Yes. And you just like walk. And you give it your all, it's your moment, all eyes are on you. Yeah, they're looking at the outfit, the garment, but it's your moment. No one can take that from you. That's amazing. I really love how you like break it down into detail, like the feeling, because that's, I would be like, yes, say it, go, say go. Oh man, so what's a designer, who's a designer you really, really want to work for? I would definitely love to work with Oscar de la Renta, his house. Now, he has passed away, but he really brought fashion. He's from, he's a Dominican, he was a Dominican fashion designer. And just to represent a brand that goes back to my country, to my heritage, would be like an honor. And his, their gowns are just amazing. Everything is just the silhouette to it, the fabric, the colors, the pattern. It's just like, it speaks volume. And I just, I would love to have like a ball gown and just like walk the runway and like take my time and like really take it in. Because, like, how I, I'm so, like, true to heart that I'm repping Massachusetts, I'm repping Boston, I'm repping Lawrence, just to say, like, yeah, I'm Dominican and I'm wearing a Dominican house dress. And at a, like, a couture dress would be like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm, like, getting hot just thinking about it. <laughs> so, well, you heard. She needs to wear this dress. So, please, please collaborate with her, work with her. Listen, this has been amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, Melanie, where can we find you? Because I know you have not only fans in Boston, but everywhere else. So we, we got to check you out and obviously check your future events. I mean, you got a lot going for you and we definitely want to keep that support because uh, it just it, it just motivates an artist more, honestly. Even if it's just like a like or even if you just see me in the street and you're like, yo, I seen you rock that one way or I seen you do this or, you know, I seen you wearing that outfit from so-and-so designer. I mean, it's great. That's how it is. If you see me on the street in Boston, stop and say hi. I will put you on my snap because I tend to do that a lot. Um, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. It's at Melly Mel. So that's M-E-L-Y-M-E-L-S-Z. One underscore. Because, you know, some girls took my name, so I don't know. I have to figure it out. <laughs> but, yeah, you can find me all there. Yes, yes, and you're here with Katira Cologne in Art Plug 5. It's being powered by Cactees. She's amazing, and like I said, we're here with the wonderful, beautiful, lovely Melanie. She is a mod Maggie model, and what's the name of Toronto? Icon Model Management. Icon Model Management. I mean, check her out, go to her IG, follow her, support her, and she's going to do the same back because we're all here for love. So catch it. Bye.